Hello, Jill here. Welcome to week 11 of the 12 week fitness challenge. This is our last class in week 11. One more week to go. I have our one hour sweat fest. Be prepared to work, guys. We're going to work nonstop with a dynamic warm up. Listen to your body. Take those breaks at any time. I am super excited to roll out this workout. Make sure you stay hydrated. Listen to your body. Can't emphasize that enough. And we're going to get started right away. Are you ready? Make sure you hit that like button. That's really important to help break through this algorithm. Drop a comment. We're one big pool of energy, friends. Let's go. Take a few deep breaths in. All right, getting ourselves mentally and physically prepared for the workout ahead. Inhale, arms go up. Good, one more time. I had an 80s aerobics event last evening. I've been preparing for the last three weeks and I'm super excited. I have a little bit of that energy in my system still. <laughs> Get the sweat bands. Jog it out or march. Arms can go up. Eight. Good. Let's take those arms wide. Nice. In four. In three. In two, arms can go back up. Feels like a beautiful spring day here in Calgary. Days are getting longer. You gotta get that vitamin D in and your workouts. Take it wide again, eight. Make sure your core is engaged. Skip kick when you're ready. Nice. Give yourself a fist pump for showing up. You made the time, you created that space. Back to the jog. In four, three, two, skip kick good four more three two we're gonna jog it out nice stay here we've got an aerobic track coming up that means we're using oxygen for energy level one Tap those heels. Now the music is fast here, so you can stay here if you want the intensity without that impact. Get the arms overhead. Otherwise, jack it out. Try to keep the mic farther from my mouth. I know it can be loud. Eight more, let's go. Alternating knees, two options here. Or arms overhead. Good. Keep going, eight. Four. Watch for the change. Sidestep. Strong arms. So this is aerobic, friends. Not meant to take your breath away. Meant to keep that heart rate up, though. Keep going. Eight. Starting to get warm in here. In four. Three. 
two. Jack, jog it out. Always trying to tweak these technical things here, Jack. Eight more. Hold that jack, guys. Hold that jack. This mic does not want to stay put. It's too loose on my head. Let's go eight more. Four more. Alternating knees, right, left. Four more, then we can put the arms up. I give you options, you choose. Arms overhead. Keep going. This is a sweat fest. Meant to be challenging. Eight. Good. Get those knees high. Transverse. Hips activated. Side to side step. Lunge. Up. Keep the arms strong. Nice. You can go overhead, no problem. But keep the arms strong, core in control. Eight. Four more. Three. Two. Jog it out. Get another round. Are you ready? You know you're low impact. Jack it out. Keep going. Alternating knees, right, left. That's it. I want you to bring your energy. How do you do that? By dropping those comments, guys. Creates that group fitness atmosphere. Yes. Hit that like button, it's so important. And stay in the movement patterns. Put that effort in. Arms up. Good. Last eight. Stay with us. Four more. Three, two, alternating side step or Punch the arms out. You want the low impact, get nice and low, like this. Last eight. Got a shoulder track coming up. I want your light a set, or no weights at all. Jog it out for eight. We're gonna start with the anterior raise. Whew. Let's start basic, because I want you to go in basic movement anytime. In four, three, we're gonna go left side only. Left side only, option. Add that leg extension. I'll give you the side view.
try not to arch the back. If you want to go two and two, slow it down. Work in the glute max, front shoulders. Last eight, come on. If you've been with me from day one, three classes, four classes per week, your balance is conditioned. Alternate, alternate. Going to the other side, coming up, right arm. Working unilateral, opposite leg can extend. Other side. Good. Always switching up the movements. Not too many changes though in one class. We don't want to feel overwhelmed. We want to feel empowered. We want to feel like we're owning in on each movement. Keep it going. I want you to square the hips. Glute max, squeeze. Front shoulders, lift. You're in control, the whole movement. Alternating left, right. Here we go. Eight, seven. Lots of shoulders here. Four, three, we're gonna hold the left. Are you ready? Have that opposite leg. Giving you a front view. I like to get the side view for this one. It's a slight hip hinge, posterior pelvic tilt. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, alternating right, left. Adding that compound leg extension is not for everyone. You have to have that posterior pelvic tilt. We don't want to arch the back. When you're ready, two, other arm, let's go. Same arm. Opposite leg, opposite arm. We've got this last eight together. We're gonna go into some squats just to give the arms an act of recovery for Three, we've got more shoulders coming up. Single squat, good. Eight, seven, six, good. Are you ready for some pulses? Hold the pulse, stay here. How many? We don't know yet. I want you to keep your weight in the back, chest lifted, sink into your hips. We're gonna step, touch, side to side. Here we go. Really wanna stoke that metabolism, stimulate that HDH, human muscle growth hormone in the entire body, building the, the endurance in your legs. Increasing that cardio capacity. We're moving at a good beat here, good tempo, compound. Last eight, get a little lower, a little bit wider. Come on, come on. Pulse, pulse. Four, three, two, single squat. That's it. Eight, so we've got punches coming up. We're gonna rest the legs. The tempo is fast, do what you can. Option, no weights at all. Are you ready? Let's go. We're gonna start slow. We're gonna speed it up. In four, three, two, let's go, tempo. I'm all braced in that core here. I'm in control. Let's go doubles here. Double, double. That's it, keep going, keep going. Singles, 
16. Take a break anytime. Last set of doubles. Take a break anytime. Let's go. Double. Four more. Back to the single squat. In two. Single squat. Eight. Seven. Your arms should be glowing, burning, screaming. Four. Get ready to pulse. Three. Two. Hold that pulse. Let's go. Eight. I'm hiding behind the smile. Super challenging. Step touch. Let's go. Side to side. Sink into it. I've got long legs. I know you can go low here. Should not be any sharp pain in that low back. Legs. Quads. Glutes. What if I told you last? Eight. Come on, stay with us. If you're doing this workout at a later date, we're all here with you. That's why we drop those comments. Single squat. Good. Whew. Catch your breath. Last round of punches. Singles to start. Little change. Slow to start. Lean into it. Core tight. Alternating tempo. Come on. I feel this through my core. You can change your stance anytime. Let's go double, double. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Double, double. One, two, three, four. Double, double. Four, three, two, one. Hook. Four more. Back to singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, double, double, four, three. Four, three, two, one. I know it's tough. That's why I put the weights down there. Four more. Three. Come on. Two. One. Single squat. Eight. Seven. Six, four lateral hops. Grab a sip of water. Flush it out. Swing out the arms if you need. This is your workout, your success. Yes, the tempo is fast. You can add the arms into it. You can slow it down. We're going to add a hop. Let's be light on the feet. Guys, you can stay like this the whole time. You can stay low impact. Or add that knee. Come on. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Side step. Good. 
Nice. Guys, you're doing great. You showed up. Thank you for participating with us here. Week 11. Add that hop. Come on. Step. Touch. Tap. Tap. We're moving along a lateral plane. Working the medial side of the hips. Knees up, pump the arms. Come on. A little higher, a little wider. Four more. Three, two, step touch, good. All the work we do in the total body muscle, the activation, the hips, the side lie, lying leg extensions, the 90-90s, that's why we do it. Support these big movements. Basketball players, tennis players, rugby, soccer, skiing, biking, sitting at a desk for long periods of time. You get to strengthen the little players around that ball and socket joint. Your hips are the epicenter, your core. That's why we do all those conditioning exercises. Core opener. Knees up. I wouldn't put it in the program if it didn't serve a purpose. It's all about unlocking your fitness potential. Revisit those workouts in the vault anytime. You've got the structure, you've got the program. Knees a little higher, come on. Eight. Four. Love these lateral hops. Two. Step touch. Good. You can bring your hands on the hips anytime. We've got one more set. Longer recovery. Grab a sip of water if you need. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Lots of heat right here. Right here. Let's go. Pump the arms. Knees up. Come on. We get to move together. Come on. This is where you move your mountains. Let's do this. Last eight, come on. Nice, come on. To the end. To the end. Side step. Good. So empowering. We've got our wide row with the deadlift. The heart rate will come down. We're gonna focus on that posterior chain, a good hip hinge, using the glutes, the erectors, lats, rhomboids, rear delts. Grab your weights, deadlift, down and up. Four more. Are you ready? Set it up, take two counts. Hinge low, wide row, 15. Option to alternate, palms face your hips. Seven. Three. 
three, two, one, dead lift. Another set. Are you ready? It's all about your upright health, how you position your spine throughout your day, core, glutes, all the posterior muscles on the back side. Up tall, deadlift, good. Another set, let's do this. Option, you can get a little lower by bending the knees. A little more leverage for the back. Come on. One more. Up tall, dead lift. I'm gonna go one set lighter for the last set. I wanna feel the success without compromising the form. One more. Down for two, hold the row. That neck is neutral. Side view. I'll count you down. Hold that form. Seven. Five. Hold on. Last two. One up tall. Weights in close. Deadlift. Go as low as you can. Weights in close. Activate hamstrings and glutes. Good, weights down. We've got a fantastic low impact tick tock coming up. The way to get that heart rate up is to get the arms overhead. Level one slow, side and back. This is level one. And cross, lunge, but I don't want your hips to open up. Your navel pointing forward. You're gonna feel deep work in the glutes there. Get ready to speed it up. We can add the arms. Nice and low, nice and low. You can stay back if there's any sharp pain in this front knee. Maybe you omit the cross lunge. Let's do this. Eight. Four more. Three. Two. Slow it down. Slow it down. So we're gonna pace ourselves out this workout. Tempo, let's go. Not every cardio track has to be plyometric, explosive, and anaerobic to feel the benefits, to increase that cardio capacity, to rev up that metabolism to feel energized, good happy mood feeling, releasing those endorphins. I love to shake things up here. In eight, get lower. Come on, pulse those hips. Four, three, two, alternating knees, eight. Four, 
three. We're going tempo right away. Other leg. The first couple, I give you the slow and low version. Keep going, a little deeper. It's all about overloading on the standing leg, standing glute, and getting the heart up without the impact. We've got this. Eight. We do have more impact coming up, but if you want, you can go plyometric lunge hop. Other side right away. Come on, come on. I feel strong shoulders here. Controlled core, eight. Nice. Four, three, two, alternating knees. Grab your weights for biceps. We're gonna start with the arms only. Single curl. Eight. Without swaying on that upper body. Four. Back to the alternating knees. Right, left. Let's go. Watch for a little change. Eight on the right. Relax the foot, work the hips, work the transverse, the low core, lower abdominals. Eight on the left. Four. Three, we're gonna rest the arms, alternating knees. Only right, left. And four, three, two, let's go hammer. Let's go. Grab the load that works for you. Keep the arms in nice and tight to isolate the bicep. Eight, right knee. Eight, seven, six. I can't emphasize enough how much heat is in the core. Controlling that upper body and the bicep belly. Left knee, keep going. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Alternating. Right, left. Give the arms a rest. We're going back to the supine biceps. In four. Three. You know you can do this. Arms in tight. And four. Eight on the right. On the knee. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Eight on the left. And my skin is still glistening, even though I've got this headband on. Absorbing that sweat. Legs only. Alternate. One more set to go. Hammer. In four. Three. Leading with the thumbs. Palms face your thighs. Eight. Four. It's a gorgeous day here today, this weekend. Right, eight. Ha. Come on. Ha. 
other side. Four, three, weights go down in two. Good, more legs coming up. Single squat. Grab a sip of water, wipe, wipe off the sweat if you need. Tummy in nice and tight. Nice and tight. How are we doing, friends? Are we making those three classes per week? You can add on other programs. I do recommend sticking with one structured program as your foundation, because that ensures you're getting everything controlled, precise, structured and strategic. Reach it up. Good. We're gonna add a hop, or you can get a little lower, stay grounded, it's up to you. Pop it up, pop it up. Eight. Star jumps if you want them. They're there for the grabbing, for the taking, empowering. What if I told you only eight? Would you come along? Four more. Three, power. Two, one. Whoa. That's gonna zap and tap and empty the tank super quickly. That's why we only do eight. Quality eight. Power. Whew. That's the heart. How are we doing? Are you gonna sit it back? I want you to make that mind grounding connection. I want you to feel your feet planted on the floor. That's called telluric energy. You're getting energy from the earth. Want you to reach it up. When you add the hop and you reach it up, you're getting cosmic energy from the sky, the sun, the moon, the stars. Add that hop. Landing with the soft knee, soft hips. Come on, friends. Your hour of power, you're in control. You're in the driver's seat. Come on, no one can take that away. Let's go. Last set. Last set. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. Whew. Good. I feel like I'm swirling into outer sp space there. So let's get grounded. Feet planting on the floor. In life, you get a little bit of both. You always come back to the earth. We're gonna let that heart rate come down. Tricep kick back, coming up. Four, three, two, take a dead lift, down, up. We've got doubles and we've got groups, sets of six, palms face in, hinge, row, two kickbacks, let's go. Back of the arms there, good, release. I'm feeling the burn from Tuesday Total body muscle, tricep dip. Thursday, spiders. Live stream is where it's at in the 12 week fitness challenge, but don't worry guys, you can't make it live. We're here right with you. 
as proof in the comments. Good. Are you ready for six? Come on. Down, row, six. So we already covered biceps. Make sure you stop the weights right at the thighs. Keep the tension on the triceps. One more. Let's go again. Hop. Six. Three. Two. One. Back to two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down. Two kickbacks. Release. Standing tall. Good. Two kickbacks. Two more. We've got it. Only one more. Cardio track. It's a challenging one. Back to deadlift. Ooh, I really feel those triceps. And up. And down. You can go lighter if you want. Second set. As long as you're feeling that razor sharp tricep in the making. Hinge. Late cue. Row. Two kickbacks. Take your time setting up. Keep that neck neutral. Two more. Hold six. I mean it this time. Hold six. Six. Five. Four. Three. Triceps are burning. Two. One more time for six. Really isolating the back of the arms. Three. Two. One. Back to two. Release, take it up. One more. You're pole planting on the slopes here. Back to deadlift. Down. Up. Two more. Good. High knees. Alternating knees are an option. I'm gonna go through all of your options. Okay, it's a buffet of options. A little more helping of some more than the others, no problem. In four. Let's start super basic. Hands on hips, right, left. So I want us to get used to that anterior activation in the hips, a little bit of groin, so as hip flexor, transverse, even the rectus, pulling the ribs down, shoulders back, add the arms, relax the feet, keep the blood up into the hips and the core, eight more slow, it's easier said than done to relax the feet, it really puts more emphasis on the hips. Option, speed it up, add a hop. Striking the floor with your forefoot. Keep it up. I find this to be high impact on its own, let alone those high knees. In the high knee runs, eight more. Four, three, two, jog or march. 
two sets. Standard high knee run. We'll go back to those options. And we'll go double, double, just to mix things up. High knees, let's go. You can go low knees. You can go mid knee. Eight. Four more. Three. Two. Jog it out. Okay, I turn the heat up too high. I can feel my energy a little bit lower than normal. Smoking busy week as well. So you've got to listen to your body. You know what's best. Eight. Four, three, last set, double, double. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Four more, come on. Three. Jog it out. Good. Beautiful work, guys. We're gonna let that heart rate come down. We're gonna finish with push-ups, a little bit of floor work. Take a couple deep breaths, grab a sip of water. A hydrated muscle. Is a more energized muscle. We always showcase the push-ups. I never lie on my back with a set of dumbbells for chest press. That is always an option. You'll feel just as much success without any impact on the joints. If you are coming into push-up, it's an arrow position. The crease of your thumb meets the crease of your arm. Take that high plank for eight and focus on that posterior pelvic tilt, engaging the quads, the glutes, the core, the shoulders. If I was to come over, push you around side to side, you wouldn't budge. Let's go for those push-ups. Slow, down, up, down. I love to come down to the knees so I can get lower in that push-up. When you're ready, 16 singles. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Let's take it back for a child's pose. High plank. We're going to interchange alternating knees in between. And you're ready. Let's go. Alternate. You can cross to the opposite elbow. It's up to you. Or right up to the chest. Option to speed it up. It's just an option. Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Eight. Shoulders, core, hips, quads, glutes. Woo, last two, last one. Good. Take a breather. Another round of push-ups. It's a sweat fest, guys. What can I say? I lured you in. Push-up slow. Down. Up. Up. 
16 singles. Four. Child's pose. Nice. Shake out the arms if you need. Back to the high plank. Brace yourselves. We're not going to do mountain climbers. We're going to focus on the obliques. Same knee to shoulder. Here we go. Lots of upper body working with, with the core, with the hips. Other side. Option, come down to your knee like this. Take a load off anytime. This isn't easy. Work your way up. Good. We're going to lie on the back. Take a load off that shoulder, wrists, elbows. I want you to anchor that low back. Dead bug. Other side. Down. <laughs> Up. Switch. All about anchoring that low back. Good. Keep going. Other side. Can't even fit fingers underneath that back. It is absolutely glued to the mat. Again. Four. Three. Two, one, up. Four, three, two, one. A little bit quicker. Down, up, down, up. Four more. Lots of core to finish, guys. Bicycle. Slow. Take a break if you want. Hug your knees towards your chest. Ready for tempo? Come on. Side, side. You've got it. Eight. And four. Three. Two. Hug your knees in. Take a breather. Flipping it over. Low plank. In four. Three. Hold. We're going to dip the hips side to side like you're flying a plane. You're gonna dip your wing. Last eight. Three abs on fire, two. 
take that child's pose. I'll switch out the music, friends. You guys did great. Stay for the cool down. Especially when you get that heart rate up. Take the down dog. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. One leg comes up. I'm gonna make mistakes. Step forward. Chest to knee. Deep breaths in. Open up the arm a little more. And release. Let's bring your knee down. Open up that hip. Posterior pelvic tilt, you're gonna feel a nice length in the hip and the quads. One arm up. Make sure you stay for the cool down, just as important as the workout. It's gonna help prevent injury. It's a mental exercise as well. Pull your hips back, giving so much appreciation for what the body can do. Come back to the down dog. Another leg comes up. Step forward. Work within your range of motion and flexibility. We're not overdoing anything here. Stay in your range. Chest toward knee. Bring your knee down. You're going to feel a nice length in the side wall of your body. You're welcome to tilt. All through the shoulder as well. Down into the thigh. Come back up. Light stretch on the hamstring. Just mild tension. Come into that wide squat. Extending your legs. Hover over your feet, hinging from the hips. Take as much time as you need. Traction for the spine, bringing a little bit of blood up into the upper body. Relax the head and neck. And when you're ready, one vertebrae at a time, roll it up. Roll the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Sink down, exhale. Thank you for joining me. Week 11, Sweat Fest of the 12 Week Fitness Challenge. My name is Jill. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you again.